people. Um, I'm Silvana and mother of three uh, boys and Karim is my eldest son. He's uh, now 30. And um, along with uh, Dr. Anik Jansen, we've developed this model, which um, is two triangles, um, which show and explain um, what we have learned in terms of how we can provide more choice and uh, create much more independent uh, adults by the time they, they are 18 and, and young people. So uh, on the left-hand side, you can see that there's a line that goes from birth to 18. And uh, the left triangle represents adults, us as family members, but also you know educators and other professionals that are involved with our children. And the right-hand triangle is the, the child, our children. And as you can see, when uh, on the left, our children are little, we as adults have a lot more to do in supporting our children to make choices. And our children have a smaller role. So we're talking about coaching children, like today, what we've been talking about. Do you want to you know, have popcorn or a biscuit? Do you want to wear these pajamas, that, that pajamas? Would you like me to read you this story or that story? So we're coaching and teaching children um, to practice uh, making choices because we're giving them choices continuously. And, and so what the children are doing is they're making those choices in the very early years from, from babyhood. They're making, you know, even if they're looking with their eyes or, or they're reaching out with their hand, that's choice making. And as our children get a little bit bigger, then we, as you can see on the left hand triangle, our, our adult responses and role in helping our children with choices changes as our children start to get much bigger and broader. Um, so as, as we, our children grow up, we're guiding our children uh, to make those um, goals. Um, we're also uh, teaching and sharing with other professionals. And those professionals are also sharing with us about what it is that they're doing in terms of supporting our, our child's goals. And we're, and we're helping our children to understand also that when they set goals, that they can also reach their outcomes. And by the, by the time we get to, you know, closer to our children being 18 years old, what we're doing is we're consulting with our children and we're asking our children in a different way. We're talking to them and encouraging them to make choices in a completely different way than when they were at the back, you know, when they were babies and when they were preschool children. So back, back then, you know, where we, many of us are right now with, um, with this program, uh, we're, we're talking about how we can practice this in the very, very early years. And that's important because we need to practice a lot with our children. We need to do things differently and, and for our children to learn how to do things differently as well. On the right hand side in the triangle, you can see as children are very little, they're making choices about sort of more straightforward things. But as they get older, they're starting to make more complex choices. They're now starting to set goals. And then they're starting to think about where they want to be, what outcomes they want. And our role is then to help them to reach those outcomes rather than to guide what the children are doing. It's about understanding what our children want to do, who they are as a personality and helping, to get, helping them to get where they want to be. And, and through all of these years of experience, uh, with lots of practice, by the time children are 18, we want them to be as independent and as in control of their lives as we possibly can help uh, to make them. Uh, the point here is that our children don't pop out at 18 being independent and being able to make choices and having control of their lives. We actually have to build that as family members and as educators, as professionals. We've got a role in building our children uh, um, up in, in these years, um, in childhood and into young adulthood, so that they're practicing and learning over a period of time. So um, I hope that this program uh, provides you um, an opportunity to think through and learn uh, some new techniques on how you might uh, help your children make choices and progress them, uh, progress up the triangle yourself, changing the way you think about uh, offering choices to your child and also um, for the, your children to, to show you that they are starting to make choices in different ways and, and you're open to listening to it. You're ready to listen to it because you're expecting it.